Hi there, this video is going to go into Gene Set Enrichment Analysis, or GSEA. So when we record these videos, I like to use different data sets as examples to try to illustrate the concepts. And today we're going to be going through GSEA, or Gene Set Enrichment Analysis, which produces these really recognizable plots here that have this heat map along the bottom, and usually this kind of neon green line um, that's going up, and usually a kind of a distinct curve pattern, either up like this or down here at the bottom. Um, so today in the video, we're going to be breaking down how you get from a differentially expressed gene list or volcano plot here into a gene set enrichment plot and other ways to visualize GSEA data and really ultimately what that's telling you about the different pathways. So GSEA is a type of pathway analysis. We have many different kinds of pathway analyses available to us, and there are quite a few that you can pick from in Pluto and really customize and explore in different ways. So today's focus will be on GSEA. Before we dive into the pathway analysis itself, I wanted to set up the data set that we're using. So I'm on a canvas right now in Pluto, allowing me to drag these different elements around. This is just an image that I have here from the graphical abstract of the paper that we're using. And this shows the development of a liver chip model for looking at alcohol-associated liver disease. These different liver chips were studied, and so in this case you can see the samples in this RNA-seq experiment. We had a couple that were treated with this lower level of ethanol, this higher level of ethanol, and then 0% ethanol. So the comparisons that were interested in this study um, are really, you know, how does the low or higher alcohol percentage here compare to the 0% ethanol in these liver organ chip models? And so we can study those questions from an individual gene level. We can also use something like differential expression to study that question across genome-wide, whole genome gene expression levels. And we've recorded a separate video that you can watch about that. But because we know that there are many, many genes in the genome, 30,000 plus genes, depending on the alignment that you're using, we oftentimes want to understand, okay, just because this gene is going up or this gene is going up, really what's going up as a whole in the, the biological system. And so pathways or gene sets are what we use to help do that kind of aggregation from a biological perspective. In this case, I've already taken the lower ethanol comparison versus the 0% and then run all of these differentially expressed genes through GSEA to output this really distinct plot. We're going to do the exact same thing here before the second higher ethanol comparison to really start from scratch and understand how we would get to that plot and what we do with it and how we interpret it. So in this case, to set up this analysis, I did this higher ethanol treatment comparison versus the 0% control. And what this gives me is a list of significantly upregulated genes shown here in red and then downregulated genes shown here in blue. So if I want to ask what pathways those genes are potentially participating in, I can create a new analysis on our canvas. And I can filter down by category here to see all the different pathway analyses if I wanted. I see GSEA right here, so we can click on that one. And here you'll be able to see a preview of the kinds of visualizations you can use for this algorithm. So we'll be able to create this enrichment plot and then if we scroll down past the suggested applications you'll also see that you can create bar plots that show multiple pathways at once as opposed to just a single gene set shown in this visualization. So we'll create this analysis and the first thing that I need to select is which comparison from my differential expression analyses do I want to use as input for this pathway analysis. So I've already done pathway analysis on this lower. I'm going to do this higher version for the GSEA that we're running now. And then the second input is which gene set collection do you want to use? So these that we're showing here in this list are published gene sets curated by the Broad Institute that are pretty well known. So this one's the hallmarks of cancer. This one's pretty famous. People also tend to like the gene ontology or go term gene sets. So really, you're going to pick a collection here based on the kinds of pathways that you're interested in exploring. You can kind of read about these different ones. So I'll select the Hallmarks collection here. This is a collection of 50 different gene sets, and we'll be able to see that after we run the analysis. Running the analysis produces by default an enrichment plot, which is this typical shape that I'm looking at here. 
However, like I mentioned before, this only shows a single gene set at a time. So here on the plot tab, we can view some different customization options we have for the plot itself, and then we can select which gene set we're showing as the enrichment plot. We can also view this as a table so that we can see the adjusted p-values and the normalized enrichment scores for the gene sets. So in this case, we can see that actually this epithelial mesenchymal transition gene set is the only one that was significantly enriched in the input differentially expressed gene list that we gave it. The way to interpret this enrichment plot is to think of your differentially expressed genes or your genes ranked by their full change along this p-value. So left to right here, we have the genes that are more highly expressed in our 0.16% ethanol condition. And then down here, these were the genes that went down in the 0.16% ethanol condition or were highly expressed in the 0%. So you can kind of think about it either direction. The black tick marks here represent genes that were annotated as being in this EMT gene set. So anytime I'm moving left to right along this heat map and I come across a gene, this is an EMT annotated or related gene. And the GSEA algorithm works by keeping track of all of these genes that we're hitting along this heat map as we're traversing down, and then producing a normalized enrichment score indicating how coordinated the EMT related genes were in terms of their movement. So in this case, these EMT related genes moved or were upregulated or increased in expression in a relatively coordinated fashion. So you can see here a large chunk of the EMT genes, these black tick marks here are up at the, at the red section of the heat map and we have fewer of those genes annotated as we go down. To help me customize this plot a little bit, I'll go ahead and show the adjusted p-value and the normalized enrichment score and save my changes on the plot. And this will just be able to indicate for us when we view this plot that this was a significant result via the GSEA algorithm. Instead of the EMT-related gene set here, I can select a different gene set to be previewing. Now in this study, they were actually interested in studying cholesterol-related genes. So there is a cholesterol homeostasis gene set in the Hallmark collection. And I've selected that one now in the drop-down menu. So I'll click Save and let that update. And now we see the enrichment plot for cholesterol homeostasis-related genes. Now you'll see, because I have the adjusted p-value up here, that this isn't truly a significant result. However, it's worth comparing back to our initial comparison to see that the cholesterol homeostasis-related genes maybe did change actually in a more coordinated fashion here. It looks like we experienced a moderate upregulation of a lot of those cholesterol-related genes here. And if we compare that back to our first comparison here, you can see cholesterol homeostasis was definitely not significant in the lower ethanol concentration, and you can see that all of these genes are pretty evenly spaced along the heat map there. But with higher treatment of alcohol, we do see maybe more upregulation in these cholesterol-related genes. So that might be interesting to us biologically to explore. One way that you could dive a little bit deeper into those genes that changed would be to highlight those same genes back on our volcano plot here. So if I go into this volcano plot, I can clear out the couple of genes that I had shown, just kind of highlighted there on the volcano plot so that we have more of a blank slate. And in Pluto, we have curated gene lists, including all of those MSIGDB gene sets. So I can select the cholesterol homeostasis one that I have bookmarked right here and then save changes to visualize those genes on the volcano plot. And so here you can see a similar story if I back out to the canvas um, as what we're seeing on this enrichment plot where you do have this upregulation of cholesterol related genes. They aren't the highest or most significantly expressed up here, but there do seem to be quite a few of them that are still significant by a p-value on the volcano plot. And then likewise, you'll see that we don't have many that go down in expression. And if we look at the volcano plot, indeed, the genes that are decreasing in expression tend to be below our line of significance here on the volcano plot. So that's also pretty interesting to explore. With GSEA, you may also be interested in looking at multiple pathways at the same time. And so Another way to visualize this result is by using a score bar plot. 
a quick way to kind of clone this result and then visualize it in a different way is using the clone feature here that I just used on the canvas. So now I have a second plot that looks very similar to my first one. This is showing the EMT gene set again by default. But I can come back in here and then on the plot itself, show the score bar plot instead. So here what I'm going to do is actually change the adjusted p-value just to one so that I'm going to be showing all 50 gene sets in the Hallmarks collection. And I'll click save there. This kind of visualization is a little bit different. Here what we're looking at on the y-axis is the normalized enrichment score. So what we're really looking for are things that have a positive score, positive NES value here, means that they may have increased in a coordinated fashion the genes that are in this gene set. And then these ones are negative normalized enrichment scores, so gene sets that potentially decreased in a coordinated fashion in the differential comparison that we were looking at. Now keep in mind, I have changed the adjusted p-value here to be to really not care about the significance. So we're looking at all 50 gene sets in the Hallmark gene set collection at this point. But you can, of course, adjust that p-value back down. So this plot, similar to all of the other plots in Pluto, can be customized. So we can change the colors for our positive and negatively enriched gene sets and see what that looks like on the plot. Backing back out to our canvas here, now we can see that we've got our differential expression comparison that we had done. We're highlighting one enrichment plot for one gene set here related to cholesterol homeostasis. You can also visualize pathway results as a bar plot here, so showing all 50 Hallmark related gene sets. As with all plots in Pluto, these visualizations come with their own dynamic method sections, so be sure to check out the methods modal here that opens up and gives you those publication-ready methods that you can copy and paste into your paper. These are dynamic. Remember that they include the exact comparison that we had done, so in this case our ethanol versus no ethanol comparison, and then they describe the plot in detail also. For comparison, here is the method section. For the score bar plot, you can see that's a little bit different. It still describes the GSEA analysis that was done here, but indicates the difference in the GSEA scores bar plot as opposed to showing the enrichment plot over here. So that was a basic introduction to gene set enrichment analysis and how we go from a differential expression result here into two different kinds of visualizations from the GSEA algorithm. Thanks so much for watching.